matagal na hindi na perform kasi mukhang yung kanina pa na You guys know Sarah Gay? So there's, there's this one poem um, where she starts with If I Should Have a Daughter And so uh, I, the first attempt at writing spoken word was uh, an attempt to mimic her poem So I, I wrote an If I Should Have a Daughter version So this is, this is called If I Should Have a Daughter I should have a daughter. I want to buy her Barbies because I don't want her to grow up thinking that the only way to be beautiful is by being skinny and blonde and tall. So instead, I buy her Eidos and Legos and tons of papers in our material so that early on she would realize how much potential she holds in her hands. How much beauty one person can create with a very little is given. I would teach her how to swim without floating devices, how to bike without chaining wheels, so that she would understand that the only way to know how to keep your head above the water is to be in the water. And the only way to find perfect balance is to first experiencing some imbalance. So I shower her with books about science and poetry, and like most fathers, I will push her outdoors so she would discover for herself the joy of basking in the sunlight and dancing in the rain, because if there's one thing that a child spent in there since taught me is that you can only truly know the world by being out there in the world. So instead of fucklers and fables and fairy tales, I would talk to her about maturity and behavior and honesty. Because honesty, so they get a chance to be a kid again. That is how we want to be used to the world. No icing, no sugar coating. It's just the truth about the consequences of my actions. And I would tell her, no matter your transgressions, no matter your choices, no matter what seasons would come and go, I'll always be there, baby. I'll tell her, I'll hold your hand when you are a pocket full of roses. I'll hold your hand when you're brittle, falling leaves. I'll hold your hand when you are a ray of sunshine. I'll hold your hand when you are painful as eyes. But baby, I can only hold your hand. I cannot walk for you, I cannot stand for you, you have to use your own two feet. And while I'll always be there, ready to offer her hugs and band-aids and ice creams, I'll never shelter her from the cruelties of this world. Instead, I'll teach her how to build her own shelter, how to draw boundaries without having to put up walls, how to keep the doors open, how to always keep the doors open without letting everything or everyone in, how to scare the monsters beneath her bed, how to dispose of the skeletons even before they could settle inside closets, how to do her own homework, how to learn her own lessons, how to fight her own bullies, how to win her own battles, and how to live her own life without expectations other than her own. Thank you.